Prince William and Kate Middleton stepped out to thank first responders. The royal pair made a private visit to London Ambulance Services 111 Control on Thursday, where they thanked the first responders who are helping those affected by the coronavirus outbreak. The visit was documented via the couple's official social media accounts. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited the London Ambulance Centre in Croydon to meet staff who have been taking NHS 111 calls from the public and thank them for the vital work they are doing. An official statement from the couple began. During the visit, the Royal Highnesses spoke to staff members and the Chief Executive of the London Ambulance Service, Garrett M about how they are dealing with the increase in demand on the NHS 111 service. During the visit, the Duke and Duchess were seen sanitizing their hands and standing a meter's length away from the other people as per health guidelines. Prince William penned a personal note about the experience that he shared alongside several photos in an Instagram caption, signing the lengthy message with the Duke of Cambridge. Catherine and I were proud to visit staff working at NHS 111 to pass on our personal thanks, along with those of my grandmother and father, to staff working around the clock to provide care and advice to those who need it most, the message began. Not only are NHS staff and emergency workers responding to the needs of the public, they, like the rest of us, are concerned about their families, friends, and loved ones. They need need our support as much as we need theirs. All of us have a part to play if we're going to protect the most vulnerable. On the Kensington Royal Instagram stories, London Ambulance Service CEO Garrett Emerson gave an update on how busy the 999 phone lines have been and gave advice on what to do if you think you have symptoms of COVID-19. We are incredibly busy at the moment. We've had our three busiest days ever in our 999 services by some distance. Uh, and in our 111 services, uh, similar vast volumes of calls, probably three, four times what we'd normally expect. Obviously, many, many uh, patients very concerned about whether they're displaying COVID-19 symptoms of coronavirus. Uh, our very strong advice to people is if you possibly can, though, is not to phone these lines. Certainly 999, please do not phone unless it is an absolute emergency. And even 111, if you are able to go online and use nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus, if you've got concerns related to that, or NHS one 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 online more generally for other uh, health-related queries. Days ago, Prince William was the first member of the royal family to deliver on-camera remarks about the coronavirus pandemic, sharing a new appeal from the National Emergency Trust that will raise funds in support of local charity efforts to assist those facing hardship amid the outbreak. Whenever and wherever adversity strikes, the people of the United Kingdom have a unique ability to pull together. The way that local communities support those affected shows the very best of our values and human nature. The public's desire to help in the wake of tragedy needs to be managed and channeled in the best possible way, which is why the establishment of the National Emergencies Trust was so important. I said at its launch last year that I dreaded the day when it would be needed. Sadly, with the outbreak of COVID-19, that day has come faster than any of us would have hoped.